What's up, everybody? The Undisputed Man here with a new video. Uh, right before I get this video started, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. And as you can see from the title of the video, what is the difference between foreign women and American women? For one, when it comes to foreign women, like Filipinas, Brazilian, Japanese, but I want to mainly talk about the Philippine women. Because I've been paying a lot of attention to Philippine women because it's this guy I watch on YouTube. And he, ha he has a 20-year-old... Um, a uh, Filipino wife. He met her when she was 17. He he uh, married her at 18. He had a kid with her at 19. And they seem happy together. Do I fully recommend it? Um, No. But <clears throat> because a lot of women are of any ethnicity is young and dumb. But hey, you know, uh, the younger the better. As long as they are of age, of course. So I want to put that out there right now. But um, as you can see from the top of the video, what's the difference between, between a foreign woman and an American woman? And I want to make this short and sweet. As I said, I've been paying a lot of attention to Filipino women lately. And I started to be more attracted to a Filipino woman. So, um, some of the traits of a foreign woman, like a Filipino woman, for example, they loving, they caring, they supportive, they know how to cook and clean, they know how to value and, and, and um, honor the man that they with. Um, and they, they, they are very family oriented. The chance of you... Um, Finding a Filipina chick in the Philippines and getting her to move to America is very difficult. I'm not saying that you can't do it, but the chance of, of you moving her out to the U.S. from the Philippines is very slim to none. And, um, you know, <clears throat> these are the type of women that you want in your life. American women, and I'm not saying all American women. I want to make that very clear. I'm not saying all American women are like this. But most American women... Uh, they always angry. They always bitter. They always uh, obnoxious. Uh, they feel like they better than everybody else. So, these are the type of women in America that you don't want to deal with. You don't want to deal with angry, bitter, old, thirty plus year old women uh, that haven't uh, found a footing footing in life. So they taking the anger out on all the, the Pookie and the Ray Rays. Well, actually, not even the Pookie and the Ray Rays and the Tyrones because they're actually getting piped by Tyrone and Shad and Muhammad and um Jack from the projects. These these women are getting plowed by those guys. Those guys get most of the attention. Um, But a lot of American women, they only care about themselves. They don't really care about you. When it comes to the 50% divorce rate, and uh, women filing eighty percent of divorces in this country. Why would any man want to marry in America? Like, let's be real here. And everybody that knows me around here, whether it's um, is in my area, they know me as being this quiet guy. Go to the store, go to the supermarket, travel here, travel there. But nobody knows that I'm red pill. And when I mean I'm red pill, I'm red pill enough to know that the type of crap women um. But the type of crap that women give guys and, and expect those guys to tolerate it. I'm not one of those guys. And as I, t as I said um, recently, if I was to ever get married, it would not be in America. It would be somewhere else in another country where if anything happens in the future, <coughs> my assets will stay with me. Marrying, <coughs> marrying a woman in America... Is the equivalent of going to jail for going to jail for life. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't. Men need to stop getting married in today's day and age. Um, we are the gatekeepers to relationships and marriage. Uh, relationships and marriage. Women are um, the gatekeepers to sex. They know they are not gatekeepers to relationships or marriage. Don't let any woman tell you that. We are the gatekeepers to relationships. If they look at us as, as high value and they want to be with us and we tell them no, we don't want to be with them, they got to slit their wrists. You know why they got to slit their wrists? Because women can't take rejection. So, as I said, the difference between foreign women and American women is simple. Foreign women will most likely treat you better. They will love you, care about you, support you, honor you, and value you as a man. And they and they are very family family oriented, which means that they don't believe in divorce, and they don't believe in the families breaking up. There's too many families in America breaking up, too many. In the, in the Philippines, yes, there are broken families out there as well. But if you find the right Filipino woman, um, and I don't want to speak for every country, that's why I'm mostly saying Philippines. 
because uh, Philippine women are very family oriented. They don't believe in breaking up the families like like American women. American women, they will drag you to the family court. They will take everything that you own uh, as a man. There's men out here committing suicide because they lost everything in divorce, and that's not fair. Um, too many men are out here are getting um, their clocks cleaned by these 304s, these German shepherds, these prey mantises. And if you're looking for a good woman, go to another country where a woman is going to love you and care about you and support you. Not a woman in America that, who only cares about herself. Um, as I said, if I was to ever get married, it would be to a Filipino woman in, in the Philippines. And even though once you get married out there, you can't get divorced unless you go through some some um, extra bullshit to get out of a divorce. And I believe they, they, they either passed the law or they about to pass the law when it comes to divorce. Uh, I didn't read the full article, so I can't give you the information because I forgot most of the, inform uh, the informa information that I did read. But... You are much better off marrying in another country uh, based off of um, uh, uh, culture. If a woman follows her culture and she was raised to cook and clean and value her man, these are the type of women that you want in your life. This has nothing to do with us men making women our slaves. It has everything to do with respect. Respect is very important in a man's life. Any woman that can cook and clean and take care of the house and take care of the family while the man is gone... Uh, and even if some of these women are tired, they'll still take care of their man. Those are the type of women that you want in your life. You don't want lazy American women that don't want to do anything. So that's all I want to talk about in today's video. As I said, <coughs> if you're looking to get married, uh, go to another country. Go find you a woman in another country that's going to that's gonna, um, cherish you as a man and respect you as a man and do the things that she's supposed to do as a woman. Um even if she's out working, she's still coming home and cooking and cleaning and making sure uh, the kids is good. They're making sure that the husband is happy. That's very important. Um, that's very important to, to, to a man. Um, and a lot of American women, they don't believe in that. And I'm not saying all of them is like that, but some of them are like that. And men are tired of, um, men are tired of majority of American women because they don't believe in that. If you marry a, a foreign woman, a Filipina... You don't have to worry about coming home angry and bitter and, and depressed because every time you come home, she complains about something. You don't have to be that guy. Uh, you find yourself uh, the right woman. Don't just go after any foreign woman. Go after the right foreign woman, and you'll be happy. And you'll see how much happier you are with a foreign woman compared to American woman. So that's all I want to talk about in today's video. As you can see, I'm, I'm recording from my kitchen. Um... I'm going to have more videos popping up soon, but don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll speak to y'all next time. Peace out.